Hi guys, welcome back to my channel where today I'm playing with the Dark Fantasy palette from Beauty Bay. This is new to my collection and I really wanted to do a halo eye, so that's what today's eye look is going to be. Also, I got for the first time a hate comment on one of my videos and it really cracked me up. It was very funny. So if you're interested in seeing any of that, don't go anywhere. If you've never been here before, hello, my name is Rachel. I'm a homeschooling stay-at-home mom. I enjoy playing with color. I like colorful eyeshadow especially and I upload many videos every week. It's all eyeshadow related content. So if you like what you see, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. Now let's get into this video. All right, guys, it is time to play with the Dark Fantasy palette from Beauty Bay. In the um, cards above, I will link for you the video where I talk about all the palettes that came into my collection over the end of 2022 with all the sales and Black Friday deals and whatnot. And this is one of them. I think this color store is really, really kind of cool. It's not the most unique, but I do think it is pretty. So I'm actually going to start... <sighs> I kind of want to start with a wash of color. Let me talk to you while I choose a brush. I want to start with a wash of color, but I need to be careful because Beauty Bay shadows don't really love to build. I generally recommend starting with the darkest first and then going lighter from there. However, because I really want to do a halo eye today, I do want a bit of a cap of color before I deepen it up. So I'm taking a blending brush. I'm going in really lightly with the shade Hoax, which is a dark brown matte, but I'm going in really lightly. And I'm going to start this in the center of my my crease area and I'm not really bringing it down onto the lid it's just the crease I wanted to tell you guys I have mentioned many times in videos that I have a really nice group of subscribers and uh, I, I've never gotten unpleasant comments all of you have been so kind in the comment section and I really enjoy chatting with you and it's just been a lot of fun but it has finally happened I finally got a spam or hate comment. I, I'm not sure what you would classify it as because it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't really, really hateful. It wasn't like a nasty, mean comment, but it wasn't pleasant either. <laughs> and it was flagged as inappropriate through YouTube. So they definitely caught that it was less than pleasant comment. So I'm trying to remember exactly what it said. I'm gonna put it up on the screen for you guys. It basically said, you suck. Your videos are, are so bad. Um, don't you think it's unnecessary? It was on a ranking video. So don't you think it's unnecessary that we watch you rank your palettes? Give up. You don't get any views. <laughs> and I thought it was absolutely hilarious. So funny because, okay, first off, first off, have you guys ever seen the show Frasier with Kelsey Grammer and David Hyde Pierce? It's a show from, I guess, I, I don't know, maybe the 90s. I grew up with Frasier and my husband and I own the entire collection on DVD that we watch it regularly. The basic premise of Frasier is that Frasier and Niles are two psychiatrist brothers and they have typical brother interpersonal issues where they struggle with communication and there's rivalry and whatnot but they're they're really it's a great it's a great show but anyway these two psychiatrist brothers in one episode need to go themselves as a couple to see a psychiatrist because they're struggling with some issue and uh, I think it was competitiveness I'm just slowly dipping back into hoax very little bit at a time and touching up until I get the depth that I want in this crease um, I think it's competitiveness that's making them eat away at each other. And so they go together to a couple's therapist and they have a session with him. And it is so funny because the session is a complete failure. Eventually the therapist ends up <laughs> telling them, he's like, I don't usually say this. I generally have hope. But in this case, I say, give up. There's no hope. You'll never be able to communicate, hang out on holidays and never talk to each other besides that. And then he leaves to go drink at a bar. <laughs> and the bait, the point is that these two eminent psychiatrists can't even deal with their own lives successfully, and yet they manage to counsel other people in their lives. And then, of course, the brothers, the brothers end up somehow dissing the psychiatrist that they had seen. Like, oh, well, he just went to this university. He's not a real psychiatrist. Anyway, that's spoiler alert. That was that was the premise of that particular episode. But when the psychiatrist is like, give up, that is what, <laughs> that is what I keep thinking about when I think about this comment, like, give up, you hardly get it. I'm like, do, <laughs> give up, like, stop trying. Why, why are you trying? Give up. <laughs> I don't know. It makes me laugh every time. It's so funny. 
So as you can see, this is a very, very light wash of this medium tone brown, but I just wanted to put something in the crease so I wasn't going in right away with this darkest shade and then blending it too much when I softened it. So, oh, that's the baby. We'll see if she settles. I'm taking a blending crease brush from e.l.f. and dipping now into the shade Grunge. This is the dark purple matte. And this is gonna be kind of the main color of my halo eye. So I'm going in and I'm gonna put this on the inner and the outer corners. Anyway, so that's the first thing that comes to mind when I see this, this spam comment, like, give up. <laughs> and then the next thing I think is the fact that this person took the time to click on my video. I don't know how much of it they watched, but it doesn't really matter. Isn't it like five to 30 seconds and the algorithm's like, oh, you must like this content, something like that. Um, the, the fact that this person took the time to click on my video and comment on my video. What it did was it told the algorithm that A, they like that content and they wanna see more of it. So now they're gonna be recommended more videos like that. And maybe they do like that content. I'm not, they never said they didn't like the content except for the fact that they're like, isn't it unnecessary that you're ranking your palettes? Well, maybe they don't like ranking videos. I don't know, but they clicked on it. And then <laughs> they also commented and commenting further tells the algorithm that you liked what you're seeing and you want to see more. I, I deleted the comment. I, it was in the to be approved fo folder and I deleted it. So I don't know, maybe that doesn't do anything for my video if I delete a comment, if it's flagged as spam and then it's deleted. Maybe the algorithm recognizes that, okay, it was spam, so it doesn't count. I have no idea. By this person viewing and commenting, they actually reinforced the validity and the legitimacy of my video and my channel and only helped my channel <laughs> while they were telling me to quit and give up because <laughs> I suck. <laughs> now it's really easy to go in too much with halo eyes because of like the way that you're adding in dark shadows. So I've, this is all I've done so far. I'm now taking a much smaller blending brush. I'm gonna go back into grunge. It's the same dark purple color, but I want to deepen a little bit more and with more precision so bringing in more of the purple depth, but without a larger brush to spray it everywhere. Anyway, so that was officially my first negative comment on a YouTube video. And I, I laughed aloud multiple times. Like I'm not the type of person to, to linger over unpleasantness. I only saved it and took a screenshot and saved it so that I could show you guys in this video because I thought it was so funny like why do people actually, like is this someone's hobby that they just surf the internet and, and leave unpleasant comments on random people's videos? What, what's the point? I mean, go, get a, go get a real hobby. <laughs> go do something worthwhile. I don't know, I just can't imagine that that's what people like to do. I know some people will feel better about themselves if they put someone else down. That's pretty typical human behavior, right? But to take the time to do so in a random YouTube video, I mean, how did this person even find my video? Because there are so many thousands of videos out there. I don't know. I just thought it was funny and sad. I thought it was sad that somebody actually is so bored that they just want to troll people's videos to leave mean comments. It is really sad. I'm like, I'm sorry. Go, go, go do something worthwhile with your life. Because this ain't it. I brought the purple onto the lower lash line in the outer and inner corners. Now I'm taking a smaller, fanned, and fluffier blending brush, going back into Hoax. Um, no, actually, I'm gonna go into this other lighter brown shade, it's called Algorithm, and I'm gonna put this just on the edge of the purples, because I, I just wanna bring a little bit of that brown tone, but with the, the reason I didn't use the Hoax shade is because the Hoax shade is more of a medium brown, and I used the real estate of my lid to blend it out. Well, on the lower lash line, I don't have that kind of real estate because I don't actually want my eyeshadow to go halfway down my cheeks. And so I have a lot less space to work with, so I'm taking a lighter shade. But I, I was thinking of adding black, and I don't think I will. I think that this purple is definitely deep enough. There are two shimmers that I wanna use. I'm gonna take a flat brush, and first to grab the shade Grime. This is sort of a grungy silver shade. It's rather a, a warm toned silver and I'm gonna spray it after I've loaded my brush. Now this is the very center of the halo eye, so I'm gonna put this right down the middle, but I'm gonna use a different shimmer to blend it out. So I don't wanna take up too much space. I'm just putting it as a spotlight in the center. That's really pretty. 
Spraying the brush helps control fallout, especially if you go in a little heavier. And it also makes the shimmers pretty much across the board as far as brands. It makes the shimmers more metallic looking. I can always add more if I want, but I can't take away. So I'm putting this only in the center. Now I'm gonna flip the brush and grab the purple shimmer in the palette, which is called Nightmare. And I'm gonna spray that as well. Now, because it's really easy to blend shimmer into shimmer and not as easy to blend shimmer into matte, the reason for this Nightmare shade is actually to help the transition from the bright shimmery silver shade into the purple mattes next to it, because you can see it's not exactly blending right now. So this Nightmare shade is gonna go next to the silver so that the silver hits the mattes and that will help. Ooh, that is a beautiful purple. <gasps> Whoa. So that um, the two formulas can blend together a little bit better. Look at that purple. Oh, that's beautiful. And now that I've got t uh, the three shimmer, like stripes of shimmer, two shimmers laid down next to each other, I can kind of go back and forth a little bit. The purple shimmer obviously blends really easily into the purple matte because of the color but the purple shimmer also blends really easily into the silver shimmer because of formula. That is where the merge happens. Oh, that is so pretty. I am in love with that purple shimmer. Oh, I might need to use that in a different look and just have purple everywhere. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. That is so pretty. Okay, as you can see, I'm just going back and forth between the two shimmers. And I'll flip over the brush because one of the sides has silver and one of the side had the purple. So I'm just going back and forth, flipping the brush, gently working these shades together. Mm. And the silver with the purple together, mm. so lovely. I've now taken a much smaller flat brush and I've loaded up one side with the silver, one side with the purple, and I sprayed both sides. So now what I'm going to do is carry this spotlight onto the lower lash line. So I'm going to start with the purple side and put it on the edge of these mattes. And then I'll flip over to the silver side and lay it right in the middle. I will, uh, I don't know, I'll choose a waterline color. I'm going to go off camera and finish up. And I'll be back in a second to show you guys both eyes all finished. Here we go, guys. All said and done. This is how the look turned out. I'm sorry about my, my slightly wet hair from my shower this morning, but the sun is about to come up through that window and make everything yellow. So I wanna hurry up and finish with this. On my waterline, I used white because again, I love white in the waterline. I did a winged eyeliner and I did the inner corner fleck, which I really like as well. On my face, I'm wearing the Froze palette from BH Cosmetics for some highlighter and matchmaker blush from ColourPop. This particular blush is discontinued, but anyway. And then on my lips, I have the shade Devil's Food Cake in NYX Butter Gloss, and that's everything. I think the look is super pretty. I really, really love the silver and purple together. I think it's smoky and moody and also kind of sultry, but not too much like a dark black smoky eye. You know, it's it's almost there, but not quite. Anyway, oh, yep. See, I can see the sun now. It just hit this, this wall over here. So I'm going to hurry up and do my intro before my lighting goes weird. Thank you so much for being with me and hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe. I've got lots more good stuff coming and I'll see you guys again another time. Have a great day. Bye.